Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, 1030 here on the East Coast, 730 on the West Coast. Um, and the West Coast is where everybody's focusing their attention today. As uh, we know that we are mourning the loss, the world is mourning the loss of Steve Jobs. Uh, in fact, as of in London as well, where we're going to go right now to Greg Pelcott, who is standing by live in front of an Apple store in London. Greg? Arthel, uh, appropriately enough, I'm coming to you live on an iPhone. This is our Streambox feature. It's just one of thousands of apps on the iPhone. The iPhone, just one creation of Steve Jobs, who passed away in the past 24 hours at the age of 56, co-founder of the iconic Apple brand. This is uh, one of the biggest Apple stores of many here in London. Let me just pan around again. We're doing it all ourselves here on this uh, iPhone. Oh, no. It's be a little bit choppy, but first, let me show you the outpouring of grief and mourning here. We're seeing apples, apples being inscribed uh, by the, uh, the mourners, uh, appropriately enough. Uh, photographs of, uh, of Steve Jobs. Thank you, Steve, RIP. I like this one over here. Excuse me for the, for the camera work. This is for the crazy ones, the visionaries, the ones who change the world. You'll always be an inspiration. Looking at the crowds now, it's a small crowd, but people are stopping, coming and going at this busy store. There's a lot of press here too, but of course London, an international capital, is also getting an international crowd, and there are Apple stores all over the place. Inside, being sold here right now, the iPhones, the iTunes, the iPads, the, uh, the Mac Airs, you name it, everything that this man was associated with. This man, according to many people who have been uh, quoted today, people like Tony Blair, David Cameron, Prime Minister and former Prime Minister here in uh, London saying, this is a creative genius, a person who changed the world. We're here with some folks here now. You're working on your iPad right there. What do you think about the passing of Steve Jobs? It's really sad. You've you're got your iPad out right there now, so you yeah. use it? Yeah, all the time. He helped He helped yeah. change your life a little yeah. bit. Really? How about you? You've got your iPhone phone. there. Yeah. What do you think about the passing of Steve Jobs? I think he was a great passer. He's what? Sorry. Yeah. I say I say I put a French. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I said I think he was. It was he was a great person. That's fantastic. Yeah. So we're hearing international reaction again from people here in England and people from all over the world. Uh, we can try uh, one or two more, ma'am. What do you think about the passing of Steve Jobs? It's very sad. He obviously a great man who really changed everything. The way we use technology and it's used nowadays, so it's been a great time, yeah. That's what we're hearing too, Arthel. Sadness. I asked one of the people inside this mammoth store, and you our viewers probably know these stores. They are huge. And uh, I asked the person, first of all, her feelings, and she said she was sad. And then I also asked, do you think his spirit, his creativity will carry on? She says she believes it will. Uh, stock market uh, price took a little bit, bit of a hit today, but I think that's a feeling of a lot of other investors, too. Uh, we're looking here at the, the Apple flag there. Flying at full mass, I must say, here, but it is flying at half mass at other stores. And if we look inside here, we can see the store. And you can see, Arthel, people are noting the loss of Steve Jobs, but they are still testing all of his products. And, in fact, buying a lot of those products, too. So the legacy of Steve, 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 Steve Jobs remains all around the world, including here in London. Live uh, via Streambox Live on an iPhone, appropriately enough. Back to you, Arthel. Appropriately enough. Thank you very much, Greg. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, but, you know...